Yo, what's up guys? I know I've been gone for like a, like three weeks, but like I've also been busy with like other shit and plays and um, I've, yeah. But I'm here and I'm gonna be talking about how Will Smith just completely like decked uh, Chris, even though that's like also super like late, but I really don't give a shit. I really didn't want to talk about it just because I wasn't sure this was the right place to talk about it, but then I realized like, ah, uh, it's my channel I can talk about what the fuck I want, so I'm going to. <laughs> so anyhow, um, everyone already knows what happened with Will Smith, if you don't, um, basically he pulled a one punch man and fucking Chris Rock, and Chris Rock just like took it like a champ. But, um, the big issue I had with it was how just decisive everyone was about it, and how they were just kind of laughing it off, um, which I think is repulsive. If I were to just, like, explain this in a few words, I would explain it like this. Imagine there's a girl at school and some guy makes fun of her face. Or, um, you know, calls her a slut for, like, fucking five dudes. And instead of her just being like, okay, you can fuck off, right? She just decides to slap him. And then when he slaps her back, she gets, like, pissed off. Um, that's the best way I can explain it. Um, but basically, it was something that should never have result resulted in, uh, violence back. Um... It just never should have. And when you have issues like that, you, in my opinion, should always try your best to find the way to be the bigger man. Now, obviously, if you guys haven't seen the clip, um, it might be a little confusing for how I'm explaining this, but um, a lot of people were saying that this didn't happen until Will Smith saw that Jada was basically really disgusted by the comment that Chris Rock made about her alopecia and bullshit. Um, but the thing is, like, if you guys don't know, the, Ars the Oscars have had drama and jokes all over the place, um, ever since the beginning. So, coming to this is, like, it it's like going to a drugstore and not expecting to, like, find drugs, you know? It's just like, like, what are you expecting? So, um, Will Smith saw that, slapped, and, um, uh, yeah, it was pretty, pretty bad. Especially when Chris Rock only made a joke, and... In my opinion, I do think, and I think a lot of people think this too, but Jada is just a manipulator. And the thing that's really been irritating me is how, like, a lot of people are actually defending or were defending Will Smith. Um, things already went past, and now, um, thankfully, Will Smith um, is now banned from the Oscars for about 10 years. But, I mean, like, this went on, and he actually won an award afterwards. And on live television, in front of multiple uh, millions of people, he was not only um, allowed to slap Chris Rock over a, jer uh, a joke, basically battery and assault but um fucking got an award and everyone was like what wow so proud and it pisses me off the biggest thing is also that a lot of these motherfuckers were looking at him was like you know he was defending his wife now in my opinion we're in a day and age now where if somebody has an issue you can speak for yourself and if you can't then you say something but physical violence should be the last resort and uh, i don't think that's a uh, result of just oh now that's just the way things are I think it is much stronger for anyone to be able to um, calm themselves down and deal with something in a more respectable um, and more cordial manner. I mean, not many people can do that anymore, and someone that's able to do that is beautiful. Um, there's a wonderful quote I like, and it's not exactly the same, but I'm going to say it anyways just because it makes me think of every single time I uh, think of this situation, and that is, um, why well, am I forgetting? Fuck. I'm looking it up. It is better to be a warrior in a garden than a gardener in a war. And um, basically what that means is you need to be prepared for these things, but it doesn't mean that you want it to happen, if that makes sense. And um, always being prepared and yet not using that strength, that's that's power. Um, there's another thing I saw in, like, for example, if you guys have ever seen the movie uh, Schindler's List, um, how is he saying Dude, I had all the shit in my brain. Um, Mr. Schindler talked to basically one of uh, these... Nazi uh, camp officers, and um, when he was in basically incognito, and the officer was talking about how you know I could kill any of these guys whenever I wanted, and you know um, how the, the, these people are basically subhuman, and he doesn't forgive half of them. You know, if they fuck up, then it's a mistake. And they're talking about power, how he has that. And Schindler talks to him and says, um, It is not power to find um, a weak man that has done you wrong and kill them. It is power to not only um, tell them what they did wrong, but also forgive them. That is what power is. Um, and, again, I agree. Because it, it's not what um, you're able to truly do in the end. It's what you're able to 
hold yourself from doing, you know, and then a lot of people can't do that. Um, you'll see that every day with fucking drugs and alcohol and, um, just every, like, I would, I would say just even being lazy. I mean, most people aren't able to just stop themselves from just sitting back and watching Netflix. And again, I think, um, that's what this really shows. Chris Rock is a legend for fucking doing what he did. Um, I think not enough people are calling him a chad for what he did. Um, people were making fun of it and I understand like all the jokes. I mean, like there's a fucking Jojo meme and there's another, uh, fucking, um, version of the Chris Rock slap where basically like, it's like physics, like half-life physics or, um, my bad, valve physics where they're just fucking ragdolling. But, um, no, yeah, it's disgusting. There's another video that popped up. Uh, I think it was like from 2019. A fucking Jada basically um, recording Will Smith in his own house when he's telling her to stop. Please stop. I want to be, like, you know, I want to be able to feel like I'm free in my own home. Please stop doing this. And she wouldn't. And I truly do believe that she is a um, A class manipulator. And I do believe also that just because she is a woman, um, nobody's going to do anything about it. And I think that's very, I think it's sexist. Because if this was the other way around, people would be screaming to do something about it. And um, honestly, even law enforcement would get involved. But no, everything's on Will Smith. And um, again, I don't condone his actions for doing violence. Like I said multiple times, I think um, Chris Rock does not get enough. I, I think he's a fucking badass. I really do. Like those fucking uh, Chad memes with the fucking dumbass Bring With Horizon music. That's what I think of, okay? But like, even him not doing charges, man. I mean, holy shit. Um, but... No, yeah, Will Smith, um, definitely, I, I don't want to blame him completely for this, and I think he needs serious help, um, a lot of his family needs help, I'm not going to get into other kids, because I'll be real with you, I think his kids are fucking nasty shit, bad human beings, but I digress, um, Will Smith, I like him, it's just that, um, Jada needs to really just get the fuck out, she's just such a terrible fucking person, and I think more people gotta speak out, um, but if you're going to get anything from this video, and this is what I want to talk about now. Um, there's mainly two things. One is, I fucking hate the way the double standards of this world work. I mean, again, if this was the other way around where it's a fucking guy manipulating girl and fucking um, basically mentally and verbally uh, abusing them, um, not only that, but also cheating. I mean, like, people flip the fuck out. But because it's a woman, nobody's going to do anything about it. And I think how backwards this world is, it, it's sick. I would say also within recent years, there's been a lot more sexist ideologies that have been accepted within um, the world that are more against men now, if anything, and nobody does anything about it because um, they play the victim card all the time. I think thinking that way where it's like, okay, well, then we got to help the men now is also wrong. However, um, the thing is, y y people keep trying to even these scales out where it's like, these people need help, these people need help. And what you got to do is just stop in general, treat people like people. Um, it's like, and again, very touchy topic, but it's like, um, when I say, I think if you say the N word, nobody should either everybody, everybody should, or nobody should, because it's wrong. I think it's, it's fucking disgusting. Um, something that has hurt so many people and people are like, oh, well, a black person would say it cause they're black. No, that's wrong. That's wrong. Either nobody says it or everybody says it. Cause in my eyes, I see someone by what their soul represents and I hope everyone does too because the moment we start seeing people for again their color or their sex or anything else I think we're going down the wrong path and um, we should never, we never should do that um, but the second thing is and again I want to just turn this around but it's like um, everyone's again looking at Will Smith and they disgust me because it's like it's like with these uh, serial killer documentaries um, we never really hear about what the victims had to go through we always hear about these serial killers and we idolize them because, you know, it's just what happened. You know, it's the centerfold of what made anything happen. And it's just depressing because I don't like giving those people attention. And I don't like giving Will Smith attention either. But um, it's also something that I think we need to talk about. Um, when it comes to all this, I really do want everyone to look at Chris Rock. Because um, even now, I mean, like, he dropped charges when everyone was like, do you want to put charges on Will Smith he said no when this laugh happened he just laughed it off because he didn't worry about his own emotions he worried about the show because he wanted this to still be a special night for everyone there and he didn't want it to revolve around him if you saw what he said all he really really was like was like wow it's just a G.I. Jane joke right and he laughed it off and kept going um that's a strong character and that's something honestly I wish I could have done because if I was in that situation I'm not sure what I would have done I'm not sure if I would have laughed it off I might have called it out 
And I think the way um, Chris Rock handled it, and he was able to um, not only respect the situation, but also his fellow um, actors and directors and everyone in the fucking um, movie industry. It's just, it was beautiful, you know? Much more than what Will Smith did, which was selfish, and clearly he only was thinking about himself and his family, which, um, again, I think he was manipulated. But it definitely shows you the strength that these two characters had. And even if nobody else saw what fucking really went down there, because I've had some arguments. Some people totally was like, you know, he made, uh, Chris Rock made a fucked up joke. Which, if you go back, I mean, even Will Smith has made fun of, even though it was a man, it was a man, but oh no, it doesn't matter because it's a dude, um, made fun of a male that was um, going and had alopecia, right? Will Smith did the same exact thing years ago, but it was fine, right? Um, I think Chris Rock handled it beyond well. And, um, it, it gave me a, almost like a self-sacrificial vibe. Um, like, and this, again, it sounds really silly, but it's like, he basically, when he could have totally blamed other people and said there's an issue, um, and I'm sure he knows that it was wrong, um, it gave me, like, very, uh, almost like, Christ-like vibes, where he's, like, on the fucking cross and shit, and he's like, you know, I'll take it, man. And, um, in that, I think he did save the situation. And, um, doing wrong, things weren't the best, but, um, it could have gone a lot worse, and he didn't let it, so. Um, and that's how I want everyone else to think of. Um, because there's power in that. And, to me, that's what truly is the, um, definition of being strong and weak. So, um, thank you everyone for watching. I know this is a very, um, long, but also weird rant about the Will Smith situation, but I feel like I had to talk about it just because it was fucking... It was all over the place, and I think everyone knows that. But, for like, for real, fuck Jada, man. And frankly, fuck everyone that defends that bitch. Because she's a bitch. Hashtag Jay's a bitch. But, um, yeah, no. Um, hope everyone has a great day. And, um, whatever you do, um, as always, smile, keep it up, and uh, let's fight for the future so bright. Some tries. Uh, my name's Lil Sam, and I'll see you guys in the next video. <laughs> Bye, guys.